Okay, here is sort demo of my Bluetooth Tag Writer software for Android. First of all, in the demo, I will use my trusty Galaxy Nexus phone, Nokia 360 speaker, uh, and two MyFair Ultralight NFC tags. One is more old school Ultralight, and one bigger Ultralight C tag. Both these will work with the software. This will have a little bit extra space for stuff like device names and so on, but more about that later. Uh, first of all, I will show that there is no devices paired with this Galaxy Nexus. So first step is to start the start the wizard used in this application to write new tags. So wizard it will automatically start the shirts new. Bluetooth devices, but as this device is not on pairing mode, it will not find anything. So you have to first here make your device so it can be found. So let's try again and instantly it will find the Nokia speaker. When the device is selected, it will ask optional advanced options to be stored to the tag. Currently there's nothing fancy here, I will add later. The future version stuff like pin codes when there's, those are special for the device you want to automatically store it to the tag so you don't have to manually write it. So it will just continue and it will ask for the tag. So let's take the ultra C tag and move it to the back of the device and it will write the information instantly to that. Now we can exit the application and go back to the home screen and now the tag can be e used for easy access to the device, connecting, disconnecting, and now because it's not even paired, it can also take care of the pairing. So when I move it here, it will recognize the device in the tag. It will first start by pairing, it will take a few seconds and then connect into the device. And now we have device connected without touching the device at all. And to prove that, I can put some music on. As you can probably hear, this is not coming from the device speaker. This tag can be used to connect and disconnect, so now I'm actually using it to... It would also disconnect to the, from the speaker. Uh, Google's own music player will stop the playing when it's disconnected, but I can also use it the other way around. So now I'm using the speaker of the phone itself. And to connect, I will move it here. It says connecting and then music gets much louder and it's coming from the speaker. Same trick can be done with this ultralight smaller one. Only difference is that it disconnects same way. Sometimes it takes longer time than you see the screen. Uh, it's the same way. I can put the music back on. This is the It just doesn't have the name, so it says just Bluetooth device. But same way it works. That's that's the demo for now. So. There are some limitations. This only now works for the audio speakers. Uh, next step is to get it working also with headsets. There's a different API I have to call, so it's not working yet. Also, the uh, plan is to support other tags than MyFA Ultralights. These are cheap and probably quite easy to get uh, on your hands to so find somewhere. To, some store will sell these things to you, so shouldn't be that bad. Limitation. Also, the pin code thing I might have to add if your device has something else than 0000 or if it has something fancier. So those two things I have to add still, but I think this is pretty solid software and should be pretty safe to put it to the markets. Just to see if I can get it crash. No, it works. <laughs>